Hey guys, it's back. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and this is my boyfriend Ethan and today we're going to be trying all of Trader Joe's all pumpkin spice, pumpkin foods, drinks, desserts, <laughs> snacks, breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything. We literally show people out. Guys, I got mostly the pumpkin items which was still so much but you guys will see everything that we got a lot a lot of things so without further ado let's get started so first we're going to start with breakfast and then we're going to go to snacks lunch slash dinner items and then we're going to go to dessert we have a lot to get through today mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen so first we have pecan pumpkin naturally flavored instant oatmeal. I love pecans, pecans. Pecans. <laughs> you got <like> pecans. <laughs> pecans? Who calls it pecans? <laughs> no, it's, pe it's pecans. Pecans! No! It's pecans. No one says pecan. So this is pecan, pumpkin, instant oatmeal. I love pecans. All right, guys, so we got the oatmeal right here. I'm sorry, that was not pretty. It's good. Pretty good. Mmm. I freaking love oatmeal. I'm also picky with my oatmeal, but that's really good. It's super subtle. I wouldn't even think it's like that sweet at all, honestly. I taste more pecans i had to think about that for a second pecans and pumpkin right mm -hmm. and i love that it has little bits of pecans in it so it's like kind of crunchy because you know sometimes with oatmeal i like to add apples to my oatmeal to have like a yeah. crunchy texture not just like mush so it that's like really nice yeah. would you rate that mm, three and a half. i would give that like a four and a half because i love oatmeal and i actually see myself eating that next we're gonna eat pumpkin o's and i'm also very excited about these because they are low fat vegan and gluten free sounds right up my alley and with that we have pumpkin spice almond beverage a smooth and creamy non-dairy beverage made with real pumpkin and spices this is also gluten free lactose dairy free soy free and vegan it's a lot of so free. for my vegans this right here pay attention okay so what we're gonna do is cereal this is a cereal the nope milk before cereal no cereal before milk no milk before cereal no one puts the milk before cereal yes no you put the milk before the cereal because then the cereal doesn't get soggy it's like one 10 seconds difference no lens it doesn't make no. sense okay Let's see if it's orange. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. I don't support her putting the milk before the cereal. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. See, all you do is you put the cereal in. And no, because look at all on top, untouched by the milk. Untouched, dry, crunchy, delicious. All right, this is what they look like. Okay, guys. Half of that was dry. It wasn't even good. Perfect. That's really good. It's good. It's a lot of pumpkin though. Mm -hmm. I would definitely eat the cereal like a lot. Like it's very light. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good cereal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this a lot in this video. It's not too pumpkin-y. Is that a word? It's my word. <laughs> the milk is a lot. You know what that would be good in? A cup of that. Two shots of espresso on top. Yum. A oh little latte. God. Cereal, five out of five. I love it. I think it's so good. Four out of five. Almond beverage, I give it like a three. I give it four out of five. Next, we have pumpkin bagels. So they had pumpkin bagels and they also had pumpkin spice bagels. But these are like super popular. So I got the pumpkin bagels because I've never had them before. We do have a spread for our bagel. Here we have the Trader Joe's pumpkin butter. Oh. You probably heard Trader Joe's has cookie butter. They have cinnamon bun butter. Yeah, you can put it on toast. You can put it on. <laughs> that just smells like a can of pumpkin. Mm. The pumpkin butter literally just tastes like pureed pumpkin. Yeah. The bagel, very, very nice. It's really good because especially like in the morning, like you don't want something too heavy, too much sugar or anything like that. So these are super good. I would give the pumpkin bagels like a four out of five. 
a four out of five. I mean, I give the butter like a three out of five. Give the butter like a two and a half out of five. Breakfast is done. Now we're moving on to our snacks. They had a lot, a lot of snacks, a lot of cookies. I only got one kind of the cookies. The ones are like the most famous, I guess. So I'll put some pictures up of like the other type of cookies that they have. They're the maple leaf cookies with a smooth and flavorful maple cream filling. These look super good. Hey, but this is dessert. No, these aren't dessert. Snack. Yeah. Oh, well. It's a snack today. Whatever you say. This is what they look like. They look like a maple leaf. <laughs> but it looks like this and they have a filling. These are bomb. That is so good. Mm -hmm. The cream is pretty sweet but not like overwhelming. It's not like too much. Like I could probably eat another one. They smell so good too. Like maple syrup. I would give it like a five. Oh yeah. I'm give them a five. Highly, highly recommend if you guys see these, pick them up. Here we have Pumpkin Cranberry Crisp, a crispy, savory, and sweet cracker to complement cheeses, dips, and spread. I've had their fig and cranberry before, I think, and they're really, really good. A nice complement to a cheese platter. They look super yummy. Yum. Really light. But the most pumpkin I've tasted, other than the pumpkin butter, the most like pumpkin flavor. Mm. I say, like definitely, gonna bring these to like Thanksgiving. <laughs> we like to make a big cheese platter. These are perfect for the cheese platter. Very in the spirit, in season. Okay, well, here are the Trader Joe's pumpkin cereal bars. I guess we should have had this for breakfast, but I usually eat these for like a snack. Same. I don't know okay. why. Mm. Super good. I love those like as a snack like those little bars not very sweet It has like a super super good flavor also kind of tastes like apple a little bit. Yeah a little bit I would rate those like I think it's three and a half out of five pretty good. You're like uh, Yeah, three and a half is a good number next we have Caramel apple flavored granola sweet and tart crunchy clusters with apple slices peanuts and pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds So this one really like stood out to me because it has like slices of apples in the granola i was thinking like this would be really good over like greek yogurt or something good idea yeah i'm gonna get a piece of apple hmm i don't like it i don't like it at all dude no it tastes like straight peanuts it know? does i give it like a three out of five it's Two. not it's not, not my favorite. I wouldn't really recommend. Next we have Trader Joe's Candy Corn Popcorn. Crunchy kernels of popcorn covered in a sweet coating that tastes like candy corn. That sounds good. Oh, I freaking love kettle corn. Yeah, me too. Cheers. Mmm. Five out of five. That's bomb. I think my favorite thing so far. Yeah? It like makes kettle corn taste even better. Mm. And I'm not the biggest fan of candy corn, but this tastes like super super good here we have trader joe's pumpkin biscottis it smells like pumpkin roll mm -hmm. ow really dry that's what biscotti is they're good to dip into coffee i'll give them like a three out of five i think yeah. someone would really like this like an adult would like this <laughs> It's like an adult snack. Yeah. All right, dinner is served. This should be like a I only eat orange food for 24 hours challenge. Ravioli, ravioli, show me the formula. <laughs> First up on the list, we have this pasta that is shaped like pumpkin. pumpkin. Here we are. Look at that. It. They look weird. They were super hard to cook, so I'm hoping it's cooked all the way. Do you want to try it? You can try it first. And for the sauce that is on it, we got this Trader Joe's pasta sauce made with pumpkin and butternut squash. So that is what we have on top of the pasta. Not bad. The shape is cute, but not practical. Like, it's like breaking apart. Surprisingly good, huh? It's just, it doesn't like... It's not right. Yeah, it's not right, but it's still good. I'd say the sauce tastes more like butternut squash than pumpkin, and the pasta is made out of butternut squash. I just wish the pasta was in a different shape. 
Next, we have this Trader Joe's Honey Roasted Pumpkin Ravioli. This is what they look like. Kind of weird. And the sauce looks a little strange on it. I put the same sauce that I used on that pasta on this one. Super good. My face was like unsure for a second. It's really good. I think I like this more than that one. This is a five out of five. For an epic too. The Dude, ravioli. Why is that so good? <laughs> like this is really mm -hmm. good. The ravioli is just filled with pumpkin and with cheese. The pasta sauce is like perfect on top of it because it's like the butternut squash. Mm. So it gives you like a little bit of both. Instead so of just good. being pumpkin or just being like butternut squash. They like really complement each other very well. Yeah, I think that's what it and is. And I could taste the sauce more on this one. So we give this five out of five. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you give this? Because of the shape of the pasta, I'm gonna give it a three. I give it a three. Yeah. I don't know. It just doesn't taste that well. Hachi, what do you grade it? <laughs> okay. Next, we have mac and cheese. So this is butternut squash mac and cheese. Mercatoni pasta with butternut squash puree and a blend of gouda, cheddar, and parmesan cheese. Mm. Sounds super good. This is one of the things that didn't show up as like their fall foods, yeah. but it had leaves on the front and it says butternut squash, so I assumed it is fall. I know, Bro, five that tastes five. fire. It's not the same five out of five. What is this? Is it like, sorry. <laughs> is this like vegan or? No, it's not vegan. There's, bro. Definitely not, not vegan. Bro, you should not be eating this. Let's stop. Definitely not vegan. <laughs> Dude. That is a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5. If you eat dairy, go for it. I love that for you. Here we have, it's a creamy tomato based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. My mom already tried this. Sherry said she liked it. Let's see what we think. I'm just going to eat it with a fork. It's kind of chunky, so it works. Very salty. <laughs> it reminds me of like tomato soup. It is tomato soup. <laughs> That's why. Um, very salty, chunky. Let me give that a one. Got a lot of stuff in it. I'd give it like a two. Next, we have a drink. This is pumpkin pie spiced ginger beer sparkling beverage. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't say be careful. Just spray you in the face. <laughs> Anyways. I'm probably gonna drink a lot of this. I know. Ooh. It's kind of orange. <laughs> a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. The aftertaste is pumpkin, but the, the foretaste, I don't know what that is, but it tastes exactly like something else. You know what it kind of tastes like to me? Blood orange lemonade. Like sparkling. Mm. What? No, when you, the first drink. It does taste kind of like sparkling lemonade in a way. Yeah, in the beginning. Super good. I would give this like five. Yeah, I would give this like a four out of five. I personally wouldn't drink it, but it does taste really good. Like I'd probably eat steal sips of his. <laughs> and last but not least, to top it all off, we have desserts. We got two ice creams. And we have cookies. cookies. We have the pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I did not make it today, but I did pick it up because I eventually do want to make it. This is so freaking good. It tastes like pumpkin bread from Starbucks. One thing that we did make was the pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. And this is what they look like. <laughs> kind of sticky. Yeah. What do you think? They're not undercooked, <laughs> I swear. I made them with banana instead of eggs, so they're That's vegan. That's why. So they're vegan? Man, they taste freaking weird. They don't taste bad, they just taste weird. They do not taste weird. I made the executive decision to use a banana instead of eggs. I like chocolate chip cookies and I like oatmeal raisin. I don't like them mixed. It's the best type of cookie, okay? No. I don't like bananas in my, instead of eggs. I feel like the texture would have been different if I did use eggs instead of bananas. I give them like a four and a half out of five. I give them like a three. Now we have two ice creams here. A maple ginger cookie swirl ice cream. This sounds super good. And here we just have plain old pumpkin ice cream. Let's do the pumpkin first. Ooh. It's 
so sweet. It's really good though. Like, it this tastes is super good. It tastes super good, but that's the sweetest thing I've had out of everything. Oh, this is not lactose. Duh, I didn't say it was. <laughs> I know, but I can't be eating this. That bite I had was enough. I couldn't have like a bowl of that. Mm -hmm. Now, I have high hopes for this one. And this is not vegan either, or? No. That one's even sweeter than that one. It's fire. That is straight up. They're both fives. Yeah? Dude, they're both so good. That is straight up just maple syrup. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like they just put maple syrup on the ice cream. It has chunks of cookie in it. Mmm. It's sweet. Too sweet for me. If you like maple syrup, or if you like maple. If you like ice cream. <laughs> if you like <laughs> ice cream, you should get that. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is everything that we have to try. And today's videos are all of our pumpkin slash fall flavored foods. Mm -hmm. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you would like. Also follow me and Ethan on all of our social medias. So they'll be linked in the description down below, as well as somewhere on the screen. Subscribe if you have haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!